Hello there everyone, Joseph here, and welcome back to some more Isle 2 Battle of Kuban here with Dmitry Samanov. And we are back here again, same day, the uh, 29th of April, 1943. Uh, we're back here with our actual planned uh, mission of escorting ground attack planes instead of the intercept, uh, intercept ground attack planes that were attacking our airfield, or we're about to attack our airfield. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and... Uh, jump into this. I am going to state that I am slightly worried <laughs> now, uh, mainly because our pilot, Dimitri, is now an ace with six, uh, six bang kills. And if you guys have stuck around with me long enough, you guys know that by the time I hit ace with a lot of my pilots, for some unknown reason, they always end up dying. <laughs> I had this issue in Rise of Flight when I was doing that series. Um, did I ever have that issue in Falcon? I don't think so, because I always got shot down in Falcon. <laughs> well, kind of, almost always. Uh, but anyways, yes, let's go ahead and uh, jump to the briefing screen. Alrighty then, here we are in the briefing screen. As you can see here, we're flying quite a ways out, about 15 minute flight from our airfield to the designation. I believe probably over steer point... Well, it's going to be a little bit longer than that because we have to do these little turns. Uh, steer point two is flying us, or steer point three, sorry, is flying us over towards this airfield, which I'm sure is going to be the one our uh, ground attack planes are taking off from. So we'll probably meet them up over at steer point three. Let's go ahead and set up our Spitfire as always. Uh, fuel wise, I'm going to drop it, but not as much as I usually do. So probably about 75%. Modifications mirror and the Merlin 45 engine and that is that so let's go over here to paint schemes and of course we need to take our guard Paint scheme though. I'm wondering if our guard paint scheme might be the cause of some of our issues the Problem is is that everything else is freaking British or American <laughs> Well, it's British markings and I feel kind of funny flying around in uh, Soviet airspace is with uh, British marked aircraft. So we'll stick with the guard and that is that so let's go ahead and jump into the game all right here we are as per usual and i think again we are number four number three not four yeah because there's four oh no our um the planes we're escorting are actually coming to us that's good okay then i don't know why we're flying over towards another friendly airfield <laughs> but whatever that is the case oh yeah there's brake pressure right there okay interesting oh no we're out of fuel no I know we're not out of fuel he's just switching through the uh, fuel tanks Oh no, it's not the uh, switching to the fuel tanks in order to. Oh, wow, there's no mouth cursor. Darn it. <laughs> in order to look to see how much fuel you gotta push that button right there. I don't know, I'll show you. That was one of the nice little details they had in the movie Dunkirk um, with the Spitfires, was them showing them having to push the button in order to get the fuel to show. the throttle quite a bit so we don't over rev the engine and we are good to go I was trying to see what these uh, ground attack aircraft are from the that little quick look we got there is single engine so probably IL-2s so we are off and on our way so hopefully not dying and uh, not have any more German canopies thrown at us and knocking out our propeller blade like last time <laughs> oh so yeah as per usual, I'll go ahead and cut the video here, and I will join you all when we get into any form of combat or anything interesting happens. You all know the drill by now, so I'll see you then. Oh, 
Welcome back, folks. Oh, I uh, stall myself out there in that turn. I heard the call for uh, one of our enemy fighters, but I wasn't sure if that was us. Well, I knew it was me because it was my guy that said it. But I wasn't sure where they were. I wasn't sure if they're high or low. And these guys are active, unlike the other group that we found last time. See, we're rolling to this guy here. Oh, they're splitting up. That's never a good thing. Stick on this guy right now. I am going to run the engine a little bit there. lot of them up. We've got some LA-5s in the area. That's good. Sneaky breaky! What I was worried about Got to end this guy fast before his buddy gets on me. There we go. There we go, black smoke, I'll take that. Here, that's what I'm looking for. Oh, I got some one two nines up, some ducks flying around. This guy coming towards me or away from me? Coming towards me. Now uh, that. It's either a 190 or that's a 109 with gun pods because he had rounds coming out from his wings. That's scary. That's got to be a 190 then. No, that's a 109. Oh my god, it's 109 with gun pods on. Ooh. Oh, I'm out of cannon rounds. I'm worried about that. At least bloody him up with the machine guns. Temperature check. Fine there. Yeah, I was worried about that. I shot a lot of cannon rounds at that last guy. I should have held off on doing that.
Real quick check. Okay, so that's towards his line. So if I want to turn around, go the other way. It's friendly. Okay. Want to make sure I'm not gonna get shot at by uh, enemy flak here. Oil is getting up there. All right, I think he is done. Whoa, there's German flag base right there. All right, he's calling quits. Nah. <laughs> Smart move on his part. He flew right over one of his flag nests. All right. That guy was calling quits. And the reason I know that is because he was flying away from me. He wasn't trying to engage again. So let's get over here. I think my guys are over here fighting more more folks. I should keep an eye on my six here. And yes, I know I have a mirror to do that, but as you can see, it's very limited on the field of view versus actually turning around and doing that. Looks like a duck. That is a duck. Oh man, now I wish I had some cannon rounds left. I taught him a lesson. <laughs> There he is. I lost him for a split second there in the ground clutter. Actually, these might be my LA-5s. I don't know. That's not, though. That's definitely a... That's a baddie. That guy there, though, looks like either a Spitfire or an LA-5 who's chasing out another 109. So I'll clear this guy as a 6. Wait until I get a little closer before I start firing again. Just because I'm on machine guns. I say that and then I start shooting. Well, I'm close enough. Just need more lead. I'm out! Not good! Not good in a combat situation! Alright, which way do I need to flee? I need to flee to the east. Emergency landing time again. Good thing we're on our side of the lines again. I'm at the belly of the end this one. Just to get it out of the combat combat zone real quick. I'm not going to try and... Plus I got water coming up. Ooh. Oh! 
Alrighty then, I believe I am still alive. Yep, I can open the canopy. I'm st I'm good. Okay. Whoo! All right. Well, we're uh, two for two on uh, taking out props with this aircraft. <laughs> all right. I'll see you all back at the uh, debriefing screen. And here we are. Oh, commissions failed. That sucks. We had the ditch. We got one kill. That one one oh nine. Um, it should be two though because we did break up that that uh, that duck real well and that other one oh nine. But I guess because we uh, ended up crash landing, it uh, we didn't get the confirmed kills on those because they didn't crash in time um, before we exit the uh, the fight there. Just looking around here, trying to see where. Oh, what am I? One. I think that might have been mine. That one's mine. So it was a G four. Who boy. Alrighty then. Well, our guys did hit the. It looks like our, our IL-2s did hit the target, it's just we did not successfully bring them back to base. Oh, that kind of sucks. Alright, we got another thousand rubles for uh, another fighter kill. Fighter kill. Uh, so that's grand. Uh, what are we up to? I forget. But hey, we're not dead! That's what matters! <laughs> oh wow. Oh no! My whole entire squadron got wiped. Except for me, I just lost a fighter. And I'm... I'm... Me and Spitfires right now are not going very well. I'm taking out the propeller blades on each one of them that I fly. <laughs> oh, and I knew, I saw that tree and I was like, oh crap. I tried to pull up in time, but it was too late and then the blade hit the freaking tree. Luckily, we didn't take the, uh, the wing with it. But yeah, um, we're still alive. That's a plus and uh, we might be losing fighters, but hey, we're still alive. <laughs> Oh, uh, anyways, thank you all for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button. That like button. Um, if you're new here and you want to see more of this content, don't forget to subscribe. And we'll catch you all next time.